What's up guys? So today we're doing a California catch clean cook combo trip. We're gonna go out to a little reef, catch some bass, maybe a sculpin. We just kind of wait for the sun to go down and then we're going lobster hoop netting for rock crab and California spiny lobster. Today we got Jana, new friend we just met. Uh, Tarzan, you're gonna get to know him a little bit more. And we got Steffi behind the camera. So we'll see what happens. We keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Get out of a hoop bag. It's not on my case, so you gotta pull it fast so the lobster gets stuck to it. What do you think of uh, Tarzan's technique? Uh, kind of like monkeyish, <laughs> but I think the crowd likes that. Oh! oh. That's a baby. It's a baby. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bug. Three 
anything over here. He's legal. I think he's legal. We're gonna find out. It's gonna be close. Woo! Teaching the experience. <laughs> so these guys, pretty much, you need to measure them in between the eyeballs here. It's gotta be three inches and a quarter, and this is legal. Woo! Right he actually is. Edge. You see that? Yeah. So Jana. We got one legal here. All right. All right. Good job. Let's go in the box. That could work. Crap, 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 going home with something. Nice. Let's set this back down. I told you the crab spot's good. Come on there. Get him in! Whoa, is it heavy? He's huffing and puffing. Come on. Come on. Hey, Steve Irwin. Is it filming? Yeah. So this is like a thorn back ray. I was grabbing him right on the spine. This is not smart. But look at him, he's smiling. Okay, but be smart. Swimmy, swimmy, swim, swim. He's pretty. Wow, purple. If I can get 1,000 likes, I'll put one of those on Tarzan nipples to pinch. <laughs> so, what's the tip He's of the day? He's them down. Stephanie. The tip of the day. Wear your gloves. That's it? Yep. Safety first? Yep. Can you put your finger up like you normally do? No. So here's our catch. You know, we didn't do too hot today, but I want to say this is the biggest crab I've caught out there. It's a pretty big one. We'll see you in the kitchen for uh, the cleaning aspect and the cooking part. All right, thanks. So what's going on, you beautiful, beautiful people? Today, we got Shino behind us. <laughs> and he's going to be filming us and asking awkward questions on the catch we got. So today we have this California spiny lobster that we're going to be cooking and we're going to be euthanizing him by putting him into the, the freezer. That's going to slowly and humanely put him down in like a coma-like state. I think it might be inhumane. I like it. Fortunately, we have this uh, crab that has passed away and they tend to get, don't mind the dishes here, but they tend to get uh, like the, the tritus, like muck on them. You can go ahead and wash it off, I already did. But pretty much what I did here is I've taken some salt, sea salt, and some white vinegar, and I've placed that into the boiling water. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the crab easier to peel, and it's gonna make it taste sweeter. So this is pretty much at a boil. We're gonna go ahead and put him in there. And I'm gonna go ahead. It stopped going inside a battery. And put. So we're gonna be making like a side little dish today. Today we're gonna be making some Thai curry. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some olive oil and onion into there. Whoa! I just realized that there is some little brown edges on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this away. And I'm gonna have a little bit left over. I'm going to wait to put the garlic in because the garlic will actually bitter when it gets too... And I dropped one. A little off my game, but that's okay. I'm going to go to the point screen. It's all good. I'll get in the hood. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and make some garlic parsley butter. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one stick of butter. Not enough butter. Oh, it's 
Shano likes a lot of butter. A lot of butter. You like garlic in your butter, Shano? Yep. You like onion in your butter? Uh huh. Anything else? No. That's it? Yep. Do you want parsley in your butter? I think you do. Okay. I think it's going to make it better. So here's a little bit of garlic. I'm going to go ahead and put some olive oil with that guy right here. By the way, this is a Mode 1 knife. I really like these knives. Every year at the Fred Hall Show, I go and I wait for someone to go up to the guy's booth. By the way, I don't even know the guy, but what I'll do is I'll wait for someone to go up and I'll pull up my older one, and I have multiple ones of these, and I'll say, this knife has served me so well. I've cut so many fish with it. This thing's like a lightsaber. I love this knife. When I want to cut something, it's going. I have the, the flexible version. This is the stiff version, 8 inch. I'm going to get the 10 inch. So you're going to be seeing that soon. In March, we got the, the Fred Hall show coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that onion in there. Not all the way. I'm going to put some of that parsley in there as well. And then we are going to be moving here. So by now, that lobster should be kind of in a coma-like state. And we're going to go ahead and take him out and get ready. He's pretty cold. And just to be sure, we're going to take one straight to the head right here. One down. One, two, three. Oh. And he's done. Anything else is pretty much involuntary at this point. So we're going to go ahead and turn him around and we are going to slice him down the middle. Just like so. A lot of people like the boil lobster. Me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I like to say when you boil a steak. And this California spiny lobster is one of the most expensive lobster in the world. And Basically, let me break down what's going on over here. So a lot of people will break off the antenna, put it up the butt, and get this down. If you cut it down the middle, you can take all of that directly out, no problem. All that tail meat is intact. I'm going to go here and pull all of its guts out. Continue on. And I find that you should take it all out and, and maybe give it a little bit of a wash because it actually will ha give off kind of a, it's almost like a celery like taste. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Some people make stuff out of it. I'm not, I just think of it as guts, but maybe one day we'll make a, a video of it. I'm going to give it a little wash just kind of in that cavity. Kind of keep the tail, it is what it is, without getting any water on it. We got some of that water. And I'm going to bend the antenna down like that. And then now, I'm going to take some Lowry's garlic salt. And normally what I'll do, I have a lot of other dishes cooking. We got the, the crab cooking in there too. Is I'll fill the cavity with shrimp or scallops or whatever you like, a seafood stuffing. There's a little bit of basil, red pepper, this crazy is moving. I know, yeah, it doesn't like the salt reaction. And that's kind of the, the, the movement that's kind of involuntary in what I was telling you about. The cayenne pepper, just a tiny bit, and I get too spicy. And then I'm going to bring over here this garlic butter. Take a spoon. Put some in here and douse it down. What this is going to do is 
keep it nice and moist as it's in there. And whoa, see that? That's the involuntary of what we've been talking about. This lobster's dead, but <laughs> he's a uh, he's rock lobster. I've never actually had him bend out when I was uh, putting butter on him. He's going death to America. <laughs> and butter sauce. Do, 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 do. Rock lobster. This one's a rock star. Kind of sad, but he's he's all right. He's already dead. And then what we're gonna do? Excuse me, rock lobster. Just for one second. I'm gonna put on the good old of the. And he's going into the oven for 420 degrees for 12 minutes. And then we're going to check up on him and put a little bit more butter on him. Now, like I was telling you guys, we are those times where you bring out multiple people on the boat and you get, you get some, but you don't get that many. So what I'm going to do here is kind of add some chicken and we're going to be making some Thai curry. It doesn't work well with the uh, <laughs> the big frozen chicken in there, but it's all good. So I have this Thai curry sauce that's pretty good. I mean, me personally, I'm a big fan of Trader Joe's. They have all these sauces, very affordable, and uh, Oh, a little miss actually. Another miss. There we go. Just like that, voila. We have this amazing sauce. I like to mix it with uh, some milk after that kind of flavor goodness has gone through. We're almost there. I want the chicken to kind of render down a little bit. So I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes, but we're literally made, waiting a few minutes. We're gonna add the garlic in. Nothing really else is going on other than that. No. See you. <laughs> See you in a few minutes. Go. All right. So we got the good old of love on, and we got about 30 seconds on the clock. This guy is all rendered down. I kind of like shook him up a little bit. Little, little action there and then we got 20 seconds and this guy should be good to go basically right now get all that crab juice in there everyone loves crab juice <laughs> so I'm gonna basically take him out and there's your time double of gum of glove it's yes. like a double rainbow yeah exactly the perfect timing continue on the dirty pile that I'm not going to talk about right now. And then as well, the lobster, we're going to pull him out and douse him a little bit. He's not quite done. Just a couple more minutes for him. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this here. Nothing like butter on lobster, right Shano? Mm, I like langosta and mantequilla. <laughs> there you have it. So she's going back in here, and we're gonna see eh, two minutes because it is 420. I normally do 400, but I'm feeling a little bit more charish for that guy. And this guy, what we're doing here, we're gonna go ahead and douse it with that. Thai curry, and what I'm doing here, I'm going to go ahead and put a little milk in here, and it spills a little bit, no one saw it. Give it a shake, get most of that out, 
and then that's going to kind of liquefy and that's actually going to reduce as we cook it because it's not done cooking obviously. about make sure all these guys kind of know each other and work together as a team to make some flavor and ooh, that's too hot to touch I'm glove and no then, I'm glove <laughs> to the rescue boom just like that I'll put him over here actually this guy I'm going to go ahead and cool him down. I'm going to show you how to clean this crab. So this is a male here. As you can see, what they call the apron is a V. The females will actually have more of like a U-like shape here. And that's the reason why it's larger is so that can hold the eggs. Let's go ahead and pop that off. That's the reproduct reproductive organ of the crab. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And the carapus is going to come off just like that. Carapus. These are what they call dead man fingers. Those are the gills. And those are going to come right off as well. Go ahead and pull that guy off. Let's out. Some people are really into that. You know, if you can leave in the comments below a dish or a recipe to use the guts and the face or whatever, I'm game. I'll try it. But I just don't know, and this is the way that I do it. I'm just saying this is what works for me. Split him down the middle. Shake out those guts. That's not what I want. And now we got the clusters with meat in them, and we have the two claws. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back into here, and we will place that separately. And we are ready to pull the lobster out right now. So the timer just went off a couple minutes ago. Off. Voila! Wow, that looks amazing. I'm very happy with it. And I'm gonna a little salt bay action. A little bit of salt bay because I'm happy with it. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of green onion on it just to kind of give it a little aftermath taste. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. And there we go. I'm gonna let Shano do an honor and try a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get this claw knife out because oh. she don't like sneaky claws. Exactly. So I'm just going to cut a little portion out of it. I love it, the treatsies. Dip it in that butter that we kind of put in there earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and give it to him right here. It's delectable. It's actually incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Best lobster I've ever had. Honestly, I think it's pretty funny when like they do these catch clean cooks and people eat it and they're like just like go ahead and grab. They like to eat it and they're like mm. oh. Mm, mm, oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little awkward on camera. So we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this. We've got the crab here. We might do a little footage of uh, Steffi here. But we're pretty much done. This guy's pretty much the final result. We'll put a little rice on that, and that's pretty much it. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time on California Catch Clean Cook. If we can get a million likes, we'll put this on Tarzan's nipples. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen the